this black gold out of the Naira Congo. It's going down this year. It's going down, man. Yeah, it's going down. Um, Releasing my albums, uh, going on tour. I think I'm doing Dubai for the first time. I'm doing Cyprus for the first time. Far back. So that far back. That far wow. back. We were just always good people. We always got along. Mm. And then we just never got around to dating. And, mm. and well, now it just... We started working together and, and it now blossomed it, into that. Now it's on like a scum. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's get into it. I'm not going to waste so much time. I'm just going to jump straight into it. Uh, just make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you like Magenda Church on Sunday. So be nice. Okay, so Rockford Just Futs. The guy actually started his music career in 2001. And now he's a nobody. So I just want to talk about how he came all the way from being the best artist in Zimbabwe to being a nobody, which is actually quite crazy. But then his story is actually understandable, and it's so sad as well. I feel like crying every time that I think about this guy. I'm joking. Anyway, what influenced him to start music was someone who just caught his eye back when he was like just finishing high school, and then he just suggested that the guy should start singing. So in 2001, he actually released this, uh, one of his first hits, which was Seiko. Through the mid-2000s, Rocky was releasing music after music after music after music. And he was like the craziest artist in Zim. He was arguably the best there doing the stuff, right? I mean, there was the likes of another decibel as well coming in here and there, right? And this biggest highlight, Pama songs, like, is, I'm sure it, this is everyone's favorite. It's my personal favorite, which is actually Chidzoka. Chidzoka was that song, right? And... The problem now is, this is a huge problem with a lot of artists in the music industry, is that when they release songs like that, they think with Rashiga Papinako and they need to take a leave. So, Rocky kind of, you know, felt like it was time to, to take a break, right? Obo retire for like, for like a year or two, right? And that was around the same time that President Mugabe even showed his support and his liking for his music and some interest. And what did he do? He gave him some studio equipment. So Rocky was given studio equipment by the president himself, the late President Robert Mugabe. And, you know, he was at that level. He was that guy, right? But um, as he was on his break, no music was coming out. I mean, a lot of people assumed that he was making music since he had new equipment after all, right? And that was around the same time that he started, uh, that he met Amara Brown. Right? And they, uh, they actually had a video before he took his break. You can, that was like one of the videos that he released where Amara Brown is actually featured. Back when Amara Brown was just Andy Brown's daughter, she wasn't like the now video vixen that we now see on YouTube, right? So, so they even had like marriage rumors coming up, but Amara Brown dismisses it in an interview that I just shared with the, This guy's fan base went to the gutter. That's the thing. But I got to that, that break, his fan base went down, right? Uh, and then he broke up with Amara Brown. And the guy actually went broke because it's never small. I was like, oh, I this guy is like, he had like five kids, five different Well, with five children, they all have to probably have come from somewhere between five and one. It can't be more than five. Definitely can't. And he had gone broke. His fan base went down, so there was no music coming out. And he had child support problems that was really following him as well. Selling his studio equipment that he was donated to by the president just so he could finance the temporary things that he wanted. So the guy was, the guy was struggling. The guy was literally dying at the time. So uh, that's how, that, that's like his biggest downfall in his career, right? Everything was just falling apart. His relationship is falling apart. So you can say he's, he's like the ex, the exes of everything. He's the ex best Zimbabwean artist. He's an ex of Amara Brown. And he's an ex big, big brother contestant as well. And the big brother thing as well was actually one of his schemes of trying to get back on the popular title. But then it really didn't work out so well. Why didn't it? Because after the fight that he had with Maneta, which he claims to have been a play, but nah, from the look of things, that was really serious. I mean, you can play about bring acid or splashing acid on his face, right? Because he actually had burned, his eyes were actually burned by my nature at the time and so you, you can't call it a stage thing and he, he actually claims himself in an interview that he hasn't been talking to her in a while and then they're getting into good books so can i stage a chino are you still staging not talking i don't know about that right so so after big brother he thought he'd come back he didn't right 
Uh, he tried doing some songs that are DJ Star Boys, a couple songs, even as a song with Execute. It was, it was actually an, an okay song. I think the girl was trying to make a comeback. But then it never really, really, really came to surface. Right? He went into an interview with uh, Onuma Kosi today where he was actually say, saying he's coming back. I mean, every artist always wants to do a comeback. So he says he's coming back and he start, actually started mocking new artists, which pissed off Trevor Dogo. That's basically the outline of everything that this guy went through. And until now, that interview he said he's bringing new music, nothing ever came up. So it's just flat in the studios. This guy has not released a single thing. And I don't think this guy is even coming back. This guy was just done. And that's it. Uh, all right. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Can I win anything just to add or any video that you want me to do? Just make sure you hit in the comment section and let me know what you think.